Hello and welcome to my channel for news about the bold and beautiful intro. Please follow and subscribe for more information. Your friend Eric, is me. Let's begin. Bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal more about Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, trapped in a cage by Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada. Steffi's life could be about to end as the building she's in is about to be demolished. With time running out, BNB viewers are wondering who will come to her rescue. BNB spoilers hint at some of the top contenders to save Steffi from certain death. First on the list is her husband, Finn, Tanner Novlin. It would be the perfect way to mend their strained marriage. After all, Steffi stormed out on Finn following an argument about Hope Logan, Annika Noel. Finn, always seeing the best in people, has been on a mission to check on his cousins Luna and Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park. So, despite his motherly Finnegan's, Naomi Matsuda, warning, Finn has plans to stop by the old apartment building. Which is exactly where Steffi is being held. Another maybe rescuer is Bill Spencer, Don Diamant. Steffi left her phone at his mansion the day she caught Luna kissing him. If Finn finds her phone and tells Bill that Steffi is missing, then Bill might join the search. Some bold and the beautiful fans, myself included, have always hoped for a Bill and Steffi reunion, despite her romantic history with his sons. Their chemistry is undeniable, and a rescue by Dollar Bill would be epic. Last on the list is Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton. While he's the least desirable option, given his constant meddling in Steffi and Finn's marriage, he would love the chance to play hero on the CBS soap opera. If Liam saves her, it could lead to a grateful kiss, adding to the list of secrets kept from Finn. Here's a twist I'd love to see on Bold and Beautiful, what if Luna gets the upper hand on the person that tries to save Steffi? She could pull a gun, locking both Steffi and her would-be rescuer in the cage. It would be a bold move for BNB, having the first attempt fail, leaving two characters in mortal danger. While I don't expect the show to go that dark, it would be a thrilling turn of events. In the end, I think we all know Steffi will be saved. Jacqueline McInnes Wood isn't going to leave the show. But the journey to her rescue promises to be a nail-biter. Will it be Finn, proving his devotion? Will Bill step up and be the unexpected hero? Or will Liam use this as yet another opportunity to undermine Steffi and Finn's relationship? Get all your bold and the beautiful daily spoilers and news here at Bold and Beautiful Intro. And stay tuned for updates on your favorite characters' fates. In the shimmering world of Los Angeles, where power, beauty, and ambition collide, few families are as storied as the Forrester clan. Yet, beneath the glamour and riches, there lurk dark secrets and lurking dangers. Steffi Forrester, the epitome of strength and resilience, has always managed to stand tall amidst the chaos. But now, she finds herself ensnared in a perilous situation, one that could unravel not just her life, but the lives of those she loves. The lunatic had been stalking her for weeks. What began as subtle pranks and unnerving encounters quickly escalated into a full-blown nightmare. Steffi tried to remain strong, her instinct to protect her children and family overriding her growing fear. But as the days passed, the sinister presence grew bolder, pushing her to the brink. It was a stormy night, the kind where the city lights blur under sheets of relentless rain. The Forester Mansion, usually a sanctuary, felt like a cage. The shadows seemed deeper, the silence heavier. Steffi sat alone in the living room, her fingers nervously drumming on the armrest. She had sent her children away with Amelia, their nanny, hoping to keep them safe from whatever this threat was. The mansion, vast and empty, echoed with her every move. She reached for her phone, considering calling Ridge or Liam, but she hesitated. She didn't want to appear weak, didn't want to admit that she was scared. But the fear was becoming too much to bear. Suddenly, the power cut out, plunging the mansion into darkness. Steffi's heart raced as she stood up, her senses heightened. She felt the lunatic's presence before she saw him, a figure lurking in the doorway, illuminated by a sudden flash of lightning. 
Panic surged through her, but she forced herself to remain calm. Who are you? What do you want? she demanded, her voice steady despite the terror gripping her heart. The lunatic stepped forward, revealing his face. It was someone Steffi recognized, someone she had dismissed as harmless, a deranged fan who had become obsessed with her after a chance encounter at a Forrester Creations event. His eyes gleamed with madness, and his smile was twisted with delusion. You're mine, Steffi, he hissed, advancing on her. You've always been mine. And now, no one can come between us. Steffi backed away, her mind racing. She knew she had to escape, but every exit seemed blocked. She had never felt so trapped, so vulnerable. But she wasn't going to give up. Not without a fight. As the lunatic lunged at her, Steffi dodged, grabbing a heavy vase from a nearby table and hurling it at him. It shattered against his head, but it only seemed to enrage him further. He grabbed her arm, his grip like iron, and pulled her close. Don't fight it, Steffi, he whispered, his breath hot against her ear. We're meant to be together. Just as Steffi felt the last of her strength fading, a loud crash echoed through the mansion. The front door flew open, and in stormed Liam Spencer, his face a mask of fury. Behind him were Ridge and Bill, their expressions equally grim. Let her go. Liam shouted, his voice trembling with rage. Now. The lunatic turned, his grip on Steffi loosening just enough for her to break free. She stumbled back, her breath coming in ragged gasps. Ridge rushed to her side, pulling her into his arms as Bill advanced on the lunatic. You picked the wrong woman to mess with, Bill growled, his voice low and dangerous. The lunatic sneered, but before he could react, Liam tackled him to the ground. The two men struggled, the lunatic thrashing wildly as he tried to break free. But Liam's anger fueled his strength, and with a final, desperate effort, he pinned the lunatic down. Ridge quickly moved to help, the two of them restraining the crazed man until the police arrived. As the officers led the lunatic away, Steffi collapsed onto the sofa, her body trembling from the adrenaline and fear. Liam was at her side in an instant, his arms wrapping around her protectively. It's over, he whispered, pressing a kiss to her forehead. You're safe now. Steffi nodded, but the ordeal had shaken her to her core. She had always prided herself on being strong, on not needing anyone to protect her. But tonight had shown her that even the strongest people need help sometimes. Thank you, she murmured, her voice thick with emotion. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come. Liam smiled, his eyes softening as he looked at her. You would have found a way, Steffi. You always do. But I wasn't going to let you face this alone. Ridge and Bill exchanged a glance, their usual rivalry set aside in the face of their shared concern for Steffi. Bill stepped forward, his expression uncharacteristically gentle. 